Hey everybody, this video is about what comes with the Detox Monster Ionic Foot Bath. Uh, so this container right here, I'd like to first point out this does not come with the uh, with the uh, package when you purchase your unit. Um, now some people use a normal bucket, but I've actually found that these half containers, storage containers, is actually a great alternative because it's very wide, very, very wide, as you'll see when I put my feet in. Um, these are perfect size containers. I got this one at Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, but you can also find it at like a Walmart if you want to support that store, uh, or a Target or places like that. So now, what comes with it? Um, a towel. And you can even get your name and your initials uh, sewn in. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but you basically, it comes with a towel. It does actually come with a towel, which is obviously useful when you want to wipe your feet off afterwards, as you can have a lot of like uh, oxidized uh, rust or you know reddish sort of stains on it, um, or just you know some of the foam. Uh, what comes with it is a manual, um, and uh, what's nice is um, very easy to understand. There's really just a few steps. You know, it ends at just step seven here. Um, very simple to use one of these things. Um, there's also a little bit of education in here exactly on how ionic foot baths are able to have their sort of stimulatory effect on the cells and how that actually works. Um, and this information is really actually, believe it or not, pulled from real research. Okay, um, Robert Becker uh, started to really pioneer a lot of this research actually in the 1950s and 60s um, and has continued into Dr. Jerry Tennant um, and actually a few other researchers as well. So even a decades ago, we understood some of these properties of uh, cell membrane um, potentiality with voltage, uh, pH, uh, zeta potential of the blood, all these different sorts of things on um, that research. It does go through here. Um, if you're a practitioner um, and you are wanting something even more educational to just quickly hand your clients so they understand really how these things work, um, or you just want some more education yourself, they do have those materials available and they can send out to you. What else comes with it? Well, one of the most important things, of course, is the array. The array, that term, is um, usually referencing the metal plates or discs. In this case, uh, the Detox Monster has a very, very unique design um, in that it is uh, these long, long, extremely thick steel plates. Um, and it usually runs this way in the foot bath. And um, so that, as you can see, has a long wire. And that plugs into your power supply. Kind of like an amp or something like that. Um, this is the back of the power supply where we have your, your fans and vents to cool it down. This thing is extremely heavy. <laughs> so, because um, they have one of the most powerful power, power supplies on the market. Uh, I didn't want to quite drop that thing, but essentially that's the front of it. Right over here on the left, you'll see the analog um, way of measuring the amperage in the foot bath, and you'll see that in another video. As we add salt, you can watch it go up. Note that this is an analog um, display here, displaying the amperage. You don't want it to be digital, okay, like other machines, because what happens is you have to run AC current, okay? To, to make a digital display work. And so you're actually drawing potential DC current away from the array to power up the digital display. And that, of course, will reduce the total amperage available um, for uh, running into the plate. And there's a, then an AC trickle, as they refer to it, um, as basically an elect electrician or an electrical engineer would refer to it, AC trickle that actually ends up going back from the digital display um, back to the array, which can really affect the potential of uh, how many ions can be created, that type of thing. Um, unless the company, and this is very rare, there's one or two companies that uh, for an extra thousand dollars, pretty much, 500 to a thousand depending, uh, will prevent that from happening. Um, and still use the digital display. So basically, if you want a digital display, uh, okay, just spend another 500 to to 1000 dollars essentially. It's so silly. The analog works perfectly fine. Um, you can see there's a little output. Well, can you imagine what fits in here? Uh, it's basically the end of that array. So you're just going to plug it in there. Um, power button here. It's extremely easy to understand this thing. Um, this too much salt button, um, 
that sometimes comes on, but that's if you really are doing really high amperage foot baths, like over 10 amps, um, which generally is not recommended. You can, uh, but you're going to need actually a little bit more of a powerful uh, power supply than this current one here. Uh, this one's really good for like 10 amps and under, which is also, st which is still, you know, 10 times stronger than any other foot bath on the market. Um, right here, you'll see the fuse is 5.5 amp. I actually know that mine here is actually a 7 amp. I can actually still do 7 to 10 amps with this, but it's so easy to just replace this thing. Um, and you just simply, you know, twist and pull out, and you can basically then remove the fuse and replace it with a higher amperage fuse, uh, which you can pick up from any auto store. What else comes with it? We also get this. Um, uh, there is, of course, a fuse in here as well. You plug this into the wall, um, and uh, this is just kind of like your extra buffer or guard in case there's any sort of blow from the fuse in here. There's actually two fuses in here. Um, this is just another sort of safety mechanism into the wall uh, so nothing trickles back into your uh, electrical of your housing, um, your, ho your house electrical wires. Uh, it comes with the jar of Himalayan salt. You don't need to use Himalayan per se. You can use any sort of salt works. Uh, but they do supply that, and they do supply extra salt. Also comes with um, measuring spoons, which generally you'll go t one teaspoon at a time or half a teaspoon at a time, uh, and keep adding half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, and that'll that'll raise your amperage quite quickly. Um, that's what I recommend doing, like half teaspoon or teaspoon at a time. Uh, if you go a tablespoon at a time, that's probably going to end up making it too high too fast. Um, and you just want to, you know, keep your fuse working fine. So, basically it comes with all this, everything you need. Um, it's about as straightforward as you it appears to be. Um, I will do another instructional video, but essentially I'm just going to plug this thing into the wall, plug the array into the power supply. Um, the power supply will be turned on, fill this with water, um, and that's pretty much it. Just keep adding salt as I go to my desired amperage, and we're in business. Um, there is no timer on this, um, this unit. That's another thing you'll see with your fancy digital displays. Is the timer necessary? No, because I have one, a watch. Obviously, I'm not wearing it. I have two, a cell phone. I also have a clock. I also have a clock on my computer. I have four ways, four ways of telling the time. Do I need a timer also on the unit? Probably not. Um, even if you're in a commercial setting, you can just simply get a kitchen timer that you twist and turn that on and it'll buzz when the person's ready. Or you can tell them to set the alarm on their phone or look at their cell phone, which is probably what they'll be using anyways in a commercial setting, keeping themselves occupied. Uh, it's just one of those things that, hey, if you want a timer on your power supply, that's fine. It's going to be another $500 to $1,000. I know it sounds ridiculous, um, but literally that's what these companies are charging. Um, or you can get the digital display on a super weak one amp <laughs> foot bath that's grossly overpriced. Uh, so it's just, it's pointless. This whole machine is all about power and high amperage and really, really great wiring and just everything is super high component quality, gets the job done. It's the strongest one in the market. If you have any more questions about uh, what this comes with, just send me a message.